Hi guys. Now we are going to learn about the stray load losses in transformer. Okay. So these losses are variable losses. These losses will come under variable losses. Okay. So we have two types of stray load losses. These stray load losses, uh, these are called as a minor losses in the transformer. Minor losses in the transformer. Okay. So these are variable losses and these losses are two types. One is copper stray load losses and another one is iron stray load losses. Okay. Copper stray load losses and another one is iron stray load losses. Copper stray load losses in the sense these losses will occur in winding of transformer. Occur in winding of transformer. So along with the normal copper losses, these are the additional losses. Stray load losses are the additional losses. And iron losses, these are the losses which occurs in auxiliary iron parts. Auxiliary iron parts of transformer. Okay. So, first of all, we will learn about the copper stray load losses. Okay. So, copper stray load losses. If windings are made of solid conductor. Okay. So, if windings are made of solid conductor, then what happens is some stray currents. Stray currents will flow through the conductor like this. Okay. So, if winding is made of solid conductor. winding is made of solid conductor solid conductor will observe stray currents stray currents okay so generally what are iron losses uh, sorry what are copper losses they are called i square r losses okay so here I square R upper stray load losses. Okay. So what is RCS here? Is the resistance offered by the conductor for the flow of resistance offered by the offered by conductor. For the flow of stray currents. Okay. That is RCS. Okay. So, this thing will happen only under loaded condition. Under loaded condition. Stray load currents. We will observe stray load currents under loaded condition only. Okay, so under loaded condition in the sense, so these losses varies with respect to these losses varies with respect to load. Okay, so how can we reduce these losses? These losses are reduced by is losses are reduced by using stranded conductor. Okay. Stranded conductor means the conductor is cut into number of slices and are twisted by separating with enamel coating like this. Okay. So this is a called stranded conductor. Stranded, S-T-R-A-N-D-E-D, stranded conductor. Okay, in general, we have skin effect. Skin effect in the sense offering more resistance to AC than DC. 
So for AC, more resistance. How much it is? How much it is when compared with the DC is? Our AC is equal to 1.6 times. If you apply DC supply to, uh, to the winding and uh, to the same winding if you apply AC supply, we will get 1.6 times our DC resistance. Okay, this is skin effect. Skin effect in the sense simply the current will flow only over the skin of the uh, current. Okay, the current will not utilize the entire cross sectional area. That is a skin effect. Okay, actually skin effect is directly proportional to skin effect is directly proportional to square of the diameter. Square of the diameter of the conductor. Okay, if you see here here the diameter of the conductor is more. Here the diameter of the conductor is more. Whereas here only this area will be the diameter of the conductor. See the diameter of the conductor is less. Okay. So by using stranded conductor, by using stranded conductor, by using stranded conductor, we can reduce, we can reduce skin effect as a result we can reduce copper stray load losses in the transformer okay copper stray load losses in the transformer and next thing is iron stray load losses so in general what is the main iron part of the transformer that is magnetic core Magnetic core is the main part. Okay. So, along with the magnetic core, along with the magnetic core, the auxiliary parts of transformer, auxiliary parts of transformer are, what are the auxiliary parts of transformer? So, transformer tank, the entire uh, body transformer tank and conservator tank conservator tank and steel channels for the air to flow steel channels okay so all these are uh, all these are auxiliary parts of transformer okay so what happens is the leakage flux in the transformer, leakage flux in the transformer links with the, these auxiliary parts, links with these auxiliary parts. Okay. So in general, if the leakage flux links with the winding, then that is advantageous for us. Okay. If the leakage flux is links with the auxiliary part of the winding, which results in iron stray load losses. Okay. The leakage flux links with the auxiliary parts of transformer. Auxiliary parts of transformer. These losses, these losses are called, are called what? Iron stray load losses. Iron stray load losses. Okay, again here why we are using stray load losses. Okay, so the leakage flux depends on load. Leakage flux, the magnitude of leakage flux depends on load. That is the reason why we are calling this one as iron stray load losses. Okay, basically we have transformer cores. Which type of cores we have? Transformer cores. One is core type transformer. And another one is shell type transformer. One is core type transformer and another one is shell type transformer. In case of shell type transformer, the leakage flux is less. Leakage flux is less. Why it is less? We are using in shell type transformer, we are using sandwiched winding. Sandwiched. 
we sandwiched winding in the sense in general if we order a sandwich in the bakery how they will give uh, over the two bread pieces in the middle of the two bread pieces he will uh, put some curry that is sandwich nothing more than that am i correct or not so similarly in case of sandwich winding also what we will do is we will use lv winding and insulation again hv winding hv winding again insulation lv winding like that we will place the winding okay so whenever the windings are placed like this what happens is the leakage flux link the leakage flux links with the hv winding or lv winding okay so that is the reason why in case of shell type transformer shell type transformer the iron stray load losses are less iron stray load losses or less okay so generally uh, these losses are 0.5% of the total output total output okay so this is about uh, iron stray load losses and copper stray load losses thank you